So Ian, now we've got the Marksman 2 T-series of rods. Yep. Talk us through this. So basically, John, this one's the 12 foot rod and small river, spay line, T-series uh, for traditional, obviously. Again, we've got the same things with the handle. Handle slightly longer than the S-series rod. And for this uh, type of conditions that we have today, the spay line is really good. If we imagine this place in the summer, John, and we're trying again to be delicate, we don't need to be throwing the line away over to the other side. We might want to target fish close to us. Because the tip sections on the traditional rods tend to be a little softer than that of the T-series, then we can target fish that are really quite close to us, with not the full length of the spay line out even, but just half of the spay line, or even less, just using the tip of the road. It's a, it's a really versatile tool for a small river, and if we were going to be doing any, like, dibbling, or um, f fishing wet flies, but, in a, and presenting them in a, in a, a really nice way, you know, um, then this is a perfect kit for it. Absolutely okay. perfect. So we've talked about the, the spay line, traditional rod. What if someone wanted to use a multi-tip version line on a traditional rod? Again, that's an interesting one because you can, of course, put a multi-tip line or a short-headed shooting head onto this rod. But what I would always say, if we're th thinking about a traditional rod um, and you're picking a short-headed short line, if that line is rated 7-8, or eight, nine, or always with a traditional road air on the lighter side, John, and not quite the other way that you would go with the uh, spay line. Lots of people, again, if they were putting a spay line on a road, they would air to the to the more heavier. If it was 10, 11, or eight, nine, whatever, uh, they would air on the heavier one. For a shooting head on a small road, well, a shooting head on any type of road, I personally would always air on the slightly lighter one. And of course, all rods will be different for what line would suit that rod best. Yep. So is it right that you put some sort of gauge on the rod to show what line would be best for that yep, rod? Absolutely. Again, on all these rods, John, when we turn the blank underneath, we have a gauge. So we have a short-headed line, we have a short spay line. And, and basically giving the information under there as to what would be best a with guide. that. Uh, just a guide. a guide. It's a guide. It's Obviously not an exact, it's, n it's never an exact science, no. uh, Joe, because basically it all comes down to casting technique everybody's and how different. everyone's different. But if we're talking about Mr. Average, the average angler, this is what the guide's about. Brilliant. Right? Excellent. Great stuff, mate. Thanks, Ian. Okay. No bother.